Hello everybody, happy Sunday. Usually I just rest and don't work and don't do much at all on Sunday, uh, on Sundays because I need a break, but I just got two really, really nice messages that I couldn't resist telling you about here in our Facebook group. Um, these are two messages that I received from former students who took my programs, some of my programs with me um, these are students that finished up a few months ago, and each of them had an audition just now, very recently, and they wrote to me today, completely separately, these two people don't even know each other, they wrote to me separately to tell me about their successful auditions. And so I just thought I'd, I'd, I haven't asked them permission, so I'm not going to name them, and, because I just really want to read some of what they wrote and just I'm, I'm as you can see I'm really excited for them because they took the skills that I shared with them in their program uh, teaching the art of freedom method which is based on hands-free primal Alexander technique and they kept practicing the skills that they learned with me after they finished their programs with me and then they took those skills into their auditions and here is what they say. <laughs> so, um, hold on, I'm just pulling these up on my browser. And um, here's the first one that I received, just a little note on Messenger. Um, for some reason it's getting really slow to pull up, my apologies. Hopefully it'll be here in just a second. Here it is. Um, she says, Okay, finally popped up, yeah. So she says, I took the audition. It went so well. I have no doubt I'll be going to grad school if I want, of course, because I'm free. You changed my life in the best way. And then she has little hearts, so <laughs> she's really happy. And I'll just say, this is a woman who is a professional. She hasn't been in school for a long time. Um, she's actually a music educator and um, she performs, she earns money, she's a professional, um, but she has recently decided to apply to grad school and um, I have no doubt she'll get in. So I'm just really, really, really happy that her audition went well and that she's feeling really good about it. And then the other one also today wrote me this email and she says, um, I just wanted to reach out and let you know I had a really good audition yesterday. I did my Art of Freedom Etudes and Constructive Rest very consistently leading up to it, which really paid off because it was the first time I could actually feel myself easing while auditioning. I mean, can you imagine that? Being in an audition and feeling yourself easing and relaxing during the audition. And she says, I wasn't gripping the instrument or hunching while I used to, the way that I used to. It was also the first time I went through that particular set of pieces in an audition without a memory slip because I did the thing you suggested of imagining how I want it to sound rather than listening to myself. This is a big deal that she was able to do that in an audition just blows me away. <laughs> this is a technique that's a very specific way of playing your instrument where you, I talk about it a lot, and I call it mind flow practice, where you're really, this is how the mind and body work. This is how you get out of your way and things become effortless. When you make the music, you create it up in your mind and you allow your body to carry it out for you. Um, that's not the way most of us have been trained. And it's a very specific um, way of thinking and playing your instrument that is incredibly effective but it really requires understanding and lots of practice that way and part of that is learning how to hear what's coming to you from your instrument but not listening to yourself so she got it I'm so proud of her she got that she said I didn't have a memory slip because I did what you suggested I'm imagining how I want it to, to sound rather than listening to myself then she says walking around the music buildings the day before and taking everything in. I had plenty of thoughts like, I'm so not prepared to do this, but I was able to just say no to that and choose something else. Saying it was a fun audition would be a bit of a stretch, but it was satisfying to end, oh, it was a satisfying ending to the work I put into it. 
and decently representative of who I am as a player. That's what we all want, to go into an audition and be able to show the player, the, the musician that we know that we are, even, you know, so often we practice at home and we're able to do everything and then we go into a performance or an audition and we feel bad because we haven't really shown what we're capable of. Well, she was able to do that and she, ah, it's just great. So she says, I, it was satisfying because I was able to decently represent who I am as a player. I've been thinking about this audition for three years and had every worst case scenario go through my head. So I'm very happy for how it ultimately turned out. And no matter what the admissions results are, I'm excited by what I learned about myself. Thank you again. Okay, I just want to wrap up by saying I am so proud of both of these former students of mine. Um, and I'm, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that both of them feel really great about how they showed up for the audition regardless of the outcome of the audition. And we all know that auditions are, especially trying to get into an orchestra or, you know, trying to win a job or something, you never know. You can be the best player and still not win. You can be the best applicant for a position in, in a school or for a scholarship or something and still not win. It's never really that predictable. But if you can be happy with yourself what you delivered in an audition, what you showed, because you know that you are in control of yourself in a way that you took charge of your mind, you took charge of your thinking, you maybe were nervous, but you had the tools and you applied them in the moment to counter the nerves and overcome them. Wow. That is just great because whether, and I, and I mentioned this to one of them, you know, whether you get into this educational program or not really doesn't matter because school or no school, you are learning and have learned how to learn <laughs> the most important skill a human being could ever learn, which is how to be conscious of your thoughts and to have what Alexander called constructive conscious control over yourself, meaning your mind, your thoughts, to know what you're thinking so that you can direct your thoughts towards what you want. If you can do that, you can, it's like the, the sky is the limit for what you can do. So bravo to both of these women and I am just so, so, so happy. It was really fun to get these two messages today on the same day. You both just brightened up my whole day and it's kind of rainy and dark out there. So that's <laughs> it's especially nice. So thank you and thanks everybody for you know listening and hopefully this is inspiring to you. I work with musicians. My phone is going nuts. I forgot to turn it off. Sorry. I'm just going to turn the sound. Um, you probably know me because you're in this group, but just in case you don't know, um, I work with all ages, all skills. I work with professionals. I work with people who are applying for schools, you, any age um, adults. I don't work much with kids. That's the only group that I don't work with. Um, but if you want to learn how to show up to a performance or an audition like these women did, in command of yourself, self-reflective, feeling what you're feeling. You can be nervous, but you can overcome your nerves when you know what to do with your thinking. If you want to have that kind of conscious awareness um, and the very specific tools that I teach that you need to practice well in advance to have that kind of command over yourself and what you're doing with your instrument. If you want to learn how to do that, just message me and ask. Say, I'm curious, I want to learn what you're teaching these people and they can't stop raving about it. <laughs> so just message me or email me at jennifer at artoffreedom.me. I have a couple openings right now in my private coaching studio, which is my premium program, multi-month, one-on-one um, -on -one with other stuff involved. It's a great program. And then I also you know, have an introductory program that's a six-week program. 
So ask me if you are, are curious about any of this and you want to get some of this good stuff for yourself. So I look forward to hearing from you and share your experiences with auditions here in the comments below. If there, if you have something to celebrate, if there is something that's going well for you, or if you have questions of any kind, just put them in the comments. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a great week. Lots of love. Bye-bye.